Alright guys, I am back with another movie review today, and I just got back from watching Ted, starring Mark Wahlberg, uh, Mila Kunis, and Seth MacFarlane. And I have to say that this movie is much better than I expected it to be. I thought it was great. Uh, very funny. Uh, it has a cool story, and it actually gets a little dark at times, but I'm not going to give anything away right now. Um, but I just want to say that if you were on the fence about seeing this movie kind of like I was, you should definitely see it because it's a surprise uh, just with how great the story is and just how funny it is. There's a few things that are hit or miss, but um, for the most part, it's just a funny movie throughout the whole thing. And I thought everybody did a great job. We know the story. It's about the kid who makes a wish for his teddy bear to come to life. And when it does, uh, it becomes like a superstar and then they cut to the future and it's Mark Wahlberg and he's working at like a car rental place and the teddy bear is uh, smoking weed and just being crazy and it's a rated R movie so there's definitely some stuff like that in there some graphic stuff but um, for the most part I thought it was a great movie very funny and I have to recommend it so now on to the spoilers if you want to just know what happens in the movie um, I'm not going to go through the entire movie and tell you like every single joke or everything that happens, but the gist of it is the kid makes a wish and his teddy bear comes to life. And his mother is actually played by Miss Swan from Mad TV, who's also Lois on Family Guy, so I understand that. Uh, but yeah, she is Miss Swan from Mad TV, the um, he look like a man guy <laughs> lady. And uh, I thought that was really funny. She's only in it in the beginning, though. And we see Mark Wahlberg growing up, and he's an adult now. He's got the teddy bear. They just hang out all the time. They watch Flash Gordon uh, on TV and other 80s references, and they just hang out and party all the time. And he's going out with Mila Kunis, and she's getting a little tired of Ted's behavior. Um, she comes home one night, and he's there with a bunch of hookers, and one of them shit in the floor and she's like is that a shit is that a shit in the floor and she, <laughs> Mark Wahlberg comes in he says is that a shit and so she's cleaning it up the next day and she's freaking out <laughs> Mark Wahlberg's like is it gone is it gone yet is the shit gone and she's like I touched it a little of it's on my finger and it was just so funny oh my god that was the best part so they end up kind of at odds. Mila Kunis doesn't want Ted around all the time, so Mark Wahlberg is doing his best to try and separate himself from Ted. Ted goes and gets a job. He gets his own apartment, um, but they still find time to hang out. They're still hanging out all the time, and uh, Mila Kunis' boss is always hitting on her. It's actually the guy from The Soup, and I thought he did a great job in this movie. Very funny, and he's always hitting on her, and he invites her over to a party, and Mark Wahlberg skips out because Ted calls him and says Flash Gordon is at his house. So he goes back to Ted's house. They have a huge party. They're doing cocaine with Flash Gordon. He's punching stuff, and it was awesome. Um, there's actually uh, one of the guys that Mark Wahlberg works with is David Putty from Seinfeld. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and Putty is awesome. I love him in everything he's in. And he's not really in this very much, but he's he does have a role, and he plays a guy. He doesn't know if he's gay, and he's like, uh, yeah, I may be gay. And so we do get a surprise scene later on at the Flash Gordon party where Ryan Reynolds makes an appearance. He has no lines in this entire movie, but he shows up twice as Putty's boyfriend. And it was just really funny. The whole theater, like, popped to see him. Um, I thought it was great. And, uh... Let me see. Okay, and the movie also gets pretty dark because there's a scene where, um, I can't remember the guy's name, but if you watch the TV show Friends, Phoebe's brother, the guy who marries the old lady who's the mom on that 70s show, he is this character in the movie, and it's kind of dark. He is obsessed with Ted. Always has been ever since he was on Johnny Carson and became a superstar, and he's been obsessed with Ted the whole time, and he wants to give Ted to his son. And at first he tries to buy him, and Ted's like, I'm not for sale, I'm not a thing, I'm a person. And he still doesn't give up, and he keeps showing up, and it's really creepy, like spying on Ted. And eventually he kidnaps Ted, takes him back to his house, his son like rips Ted's ear off. It was pretty dark, in my opinion. And 
Mark Wahlberg and Mila Kunis go to try and rescue Ted, and they climb to the top of this uh, baseball stadium, and Ted gets ripped in half, and he dies. And the last thing that happens is Mila, even though she doesn't want Mark to spend all his time with Ted, she still loves Ted also. And she makes a wish, like Mark Wahlberg did, that Ted comes back to life. So he comes back to life. Mark Wahlberg and Mila Kunis get married finally. Everybody's happily ever after. And so that was it. And it was just a great movie with a great story. And I left out a ton of just funny moments with Ted working at the place. And uh, there's some more parties and things. And just the entire movie's great. So I definitely recommend you guys go watch this movie. I hope you like this review. Um, I know it's probably short, but I didn't want to go through like every single thing that happened because it's kind of just a bunch of jokes one after another and just a great movie. So if you have seen it, leave your thoughts on this movie in the comments below. And thanks for watching.